essential oils made, this part contains some of the most interesting facts and I just have a blast sharing this. So it takes a great deal of work <laughs> to distill a tiny amount of essential oil. It takes 60,000 rose blossoms to provide only one ounce of rose essential oil. Think about the roses that you buy. If you're purchasing a bouquet of roses, you are purchasing quite, or you're dropping quite the dollar on that purchase, I guess I should say. Uh, roses are very expensive, and those roses may or may not have been grown organically. And so I'm sure if you were to purchase an organic bouquet, it would cost you more. So just think about that when you're thinking about 60,000 rose petals for one ounce of rose essential oil. Mind blowing. Lavender though is abundant. This ratio is a great ratio. It takes 220 pounds of lavender to distill seven pounds of lavender oil. 220 to seven. That is an abundant ratio. Jasmine flowers must be handpicked on the first day that they open before the sun becomes hot. So that makes it one of the most expensive oils in the world. You guys, it takes eight million hand-picked blossoms to, to produce 2.2 pounds of oil. Wow. A sandalwood tree must be 30 years old and 30 feet high before it can be cut down for distillation. Gary Young sandalwood trees must be 90% dead before they are harvested. But a little bit goes a long way. Most of the oils are 10 to $30 a bottle, and depending on the thickness or the velocity of the essential oil, a five milliliter bottle contains 90 to 100 drops, and a 15 milliliter bottle contains about 200 to 240 drops. So each application is one to three drops, meaning even a small bottle will get you 45 to 90 applications. Thieves Cleaner is made of plants only and cost about $1.50 a bottle to make. You can't even get that at the organic section of your grocery store. It replaces a multi-purpose cleaner, glass cleaner, and floor cleaner. And the organic versions can run you four to six dollars a bottle. And you guys, there are some known carcinogens that are in organic cleaners. They're just produced naturally. So it's good to know, again, the company and what goes into your cleaners. Are they safe? You guys, safety with essential oils is key, okay? I know we just slather them on all the time, um, but we've had to learn a few things. So certain oils can be photosensitive. These are meaning that, um, or these are your citrus oils. And this means that you don't wanna slather it on and then go lay out in the sun. So your oils like lemon, grapefruit, lime, orange, things like that, don't apply them to your face and go, <laughs> go out into the sun. When using oils on your skin, always watch for redness and dilute with the carrier oil. Dilute on children and the elderly because their skin is more permeable and absorbs the oils more quickly. A carrier oil is a fatty oil like an olive oil or a coconut oil, and its molecules are much larger than those of the essential oils. So using a carrier oil along with an essential oil slows down the rate that the body can absorb the essential oil because it has to ping pong through the carrier oil through the larger molecules to get to your skin. So some oils like cinnamon or oregano can be rather strong and you may not want to diffuse them. However, it is lovely to diffuse cinnamon with some orange or tangerine or even clove in the fall and winter. Mm, I'm ready for fall. <laughs> So be wary of putting oils on topically near your eyes. Don't ever take the bottle and put it on like that. We use our fingertip and then we might rub it around or on our temples or we'll use a Q-tip. If you happen to get some oils in your eye, um, use a carrier oil to wash it out. Uh, water and oil does not mix, so throwing water in your eye isn't going to help a whole lot. You can become desensitized to an oil if you use the same oil day after day. So rotate your oils every three to four days.